Poke Trainers, welcome back to the Fire Red Nuzlocke. Today we are going to be kicking off episode 6, but before we do, I just wanted to go ahead and thank every single one of you for taking the time out of your day to watch this series, uh, and all of the overwhelming support that I've received for it. You guys make me want to keep pushing on, so here we are with episode 6. I didn't have any name suggestions for it, so I went ahead and named it myself. Oddish, his name is Deku. Um, and the reason I named him Deku is because he kind of has that crazy green anime hair and he looks like the character off of My Hero Academia. So that's my thought process on that one. In today's episode, we're going to go ahead and cruise around. I, we might try to accomplish the gym first things first. Oh, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't get too excited here. Maybe, maybe what we're going to do is pick up a track. I'm still so mad that I ruined my chances of having Mega Punch on my Jigglypuff. Ah, an R.I.P. Steel. So many dumb mistakes were made last episode, so I think this time it's only right for me to play a little bit smarter. Perfect. I'm healed. We're alive, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and check out the Mons. What, what levels are we? Are we looking like we're ready for anything? Not really. I think we're going to switch. We're going to have to do some swap training here because our team is looking a bit pitiful, isn't it? So we're going to go ahead and climb up here and make our way towards Bill's house. And while we're doing that, we're going to try and gain some levels off of these trainers that are up here. Uh, I think that's going to be the best way to tackle the Misty fight. So we will take on... What is his name? Camper Shane. Camper Shane, prepare to meet your demise. Sending out a Rattata, which is naturally a snake's food. Although I'm much lower level than you, so I'm going to have to let Deku take over on this one. Don't hyperfang me, please. It hyperfanged me. <laughs> no. Okay, hell, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, I don't need anything right now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just hit him with the poison and then probably swap out here. Uh, I don't want to lose Deku when I first got him. We was poisoned and hurt by the poison all at once. So let's go... Let's go to Stonehead. He's going to be the tank of this battle here. You're darn right you were hurt by poison. This was my plan all along. Alrighty, some experience points here at the end of things. And Camper Shane is about to use Ekans. So we are going to swap back over to our Ekans. Just so we can get, you know, a little bit of experience points in action. Orochimaru. I would love for Orochimaru to be level 14, but he's just not quite there yet. Um, uh, let's go ahead and use Beer. I think Beer will be able to take on this little battle. Uh, and He'll come out okay, I think. Well, now I don't have a whole lot of choice because I am wrapped. <laughs> I can't swap him out if I wanted to. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and use Sing. I wonder if he'll land it. Don't you poison me. Fine. And you missed. Beer, come on. Hurt by poison, hurt by wrap. Ugh, not a good showing, Beer. I came out with such strong confidence for you. I, I told the viewers you were going to do your job. And you're not. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and go back over to Stonehead, it looks like. Oh, but he can't be... Hmm. Looks like we're going to be an item guy. Uh, we'll go ahead with the Super Potion. He keeps leering me, and I'm not a fan of it. I just want to be let go from your rap. That's all. Freed from rap, so now I can swap him out if I need to. Um, he's going to just keep leering me, it looks like, so I'm hoping that I can get away with just a couple pounds and he'll be done for. Or just one, even better. Awesome, so I'm happy I didn't have to switch out Pokemon there, get Orochimaru a level, and possibly, no, nowhere near. Not one for beer. Not yet. 
280 bucks. I mean, that kid is young to just have 280 sitting in his pocket. Oh, I got the poison to deal with here. I don't want to lose beer just by walking around. Wouldn't be my dumbest mistake I've made yet, but... I sure wouldn't be able to live with myself if that happened. Alright, so, uh, I think we're just gonna go for a quick heal. I'll meet you guys back up at the top of the bridge. We are back in action. Pokemon are healed up, and just for giggles, I wonder what I would've gotten if I jumped in this grass patch. I would've got a Weedle. Alrighty, <laughs> I'm okay with that. Uh, which would've been Duplicate's Claws, but hey, I'm still happy to have my Oddish over the Weedle. Wow, this has been quite the lengthy battle. <laughs> I've just been using a rapid leer on him this whole time. Luckily, he's only really been string-shotting me, so I, I haven't taken a whole lot of damage, but... Ah, uh, this is a tedious battle. Still less tedious than Kakuna versus Kakuna, so... I can't complain too much, but hey, it's got me tired, man. I'm just like, Argh. Repetitive motions are making me sleepy. One more should do the trick. Unless I miss. Watch me miss, I'll call it. Hey, nice. I gotta love proving myself wrong. Already 59 EXP, and that was sure not worth the wait. I'm gonna just use a little potion on Orochimaru. That way I don't have to worry about him getting one hit or something like that. I'm probably using that a little more liberally than I should be, but hey. You live and you learn. So we're gonna go ahead and take on this hiker. He just got down from Mount Moon, but he's still got the gas. Alrighty. Hiker Franklin. What a name. Wonder if he's got some Benjamins in his pocket, if you know what I'm talking about. I could use a few of those. Oh, what am I <laughs> I'm trying to take on a Machop with my level 7 Orochimaru? Not gonna happen today, guys. Uh, so we'll go ahead and put out Sir Onion. He's the only one that's not going to take a super effective hit from the chop right now, so. Focus energy, okay, we'll have to be careful of crits now. I'm going to go for the sleep powder. Onion, no, you never miss your sleep powder. Okay. I'm just going to go for the vine whip then. I don't want to waste a bunch of turns on- and I get the critical hit! No focus energy required, people. So we'll just hit him with a tackle and say goodnight. Good night. <laughs> Later. Orochimaru with another level up. And he learned Poison Sting. Okay. Still a really weak attack, so he's probably our, our least strong Pokemon right now, other than Cuddy, the Magikarp. And that's for obvious reasons, but we've got lots of potential inside that Magikarp, so... Uh, I did not see what he said he was going to put out there, so I'm just going to go ahead with this. And another Geodude, so, uh, you know what, I probably made the right decision there. I'm sorry, I'm yawning as I'm talking here. Uh, I don't know why, but I just got hit with like a wave of sleepiness, guys. But I will keep pushing through and record this episode for you. I'm having a ton of fun playing Nuzlocke. I have learned so much about my Nuzlocke experience just through this experience alone. Also... To the group chat on Instagram, all of you guys have been giving me such good information. Um, I'm loving how active everyone is. We are about 23 members, 22 members strong on that group chat, so I'm thinking about turning it into a Discord. Uh, if anyone here watching this episode would like to be included in a Nuzlocke group chat slash Discord, uh, click on the link in the description and hit me up over there on Instagram. I will gladly add you to the group chat. It has been super productive for me anyways. So, uh, we'll go ahead and take on this other hiker and see how you're going to go see Bill. First, we battle. <laughs> that was, well, that's one way to proposition me. Alrighty, Onyx, so I'm going to run away. <laughs> uh, we'll put Deku out there and see if we can't get him with a couple of absorbs. Screech, does that harshly lower me? It does harshly lower me. Okay. Um, we'll go with the absorb. He missed his bind, which is great. That gives me an actual an actual head start on the attack here. Um, and yeah, we're going to completely sweep through this Onyx. I'm not, not even worried about it now. I saw how much damage that just did. Perfect. Deku with the dub on that one. 
Gonna go ahead and toss our experience points over in the direction of Orochimaru. And like I said, guys, we're gonna just try to do some leveling up here on our way over to Bill. And hopefully take on Misty. Uh, I doubt we're gonna take her on in this episode, just because I don't like the episodes to be much longer than uh, 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, mainly because of processing, it's taken me so long to process videos. Uh, that if they're any longer than that, it's just not, it's simply not feasible to upload on a, any normal schedule. So, um... Local trainers come here to practice. I'm about as local as it gets, buddy. I'm from the next town over at Pallet Town. Sending out the Ratatata. And Orochimaru is almost getting to the point where he's going to start be able to take on these level 14s, level 15s. So that is super exciting. We will swap to Deku. And hopefully we can take him out in a few hits here. Try to use poison powder on him. Oh, he withdrew. That almost never happens in these little trainer battles. But I guess it makes sense. He's got a Spearow in the background there. And my poison powder misses. So you forced me to change over to Stonehead. And I'm not happy about it. Because I was trying to give Orochimaru as much experience as possible, man. You're making me actually strategize and stuff? Jeez. I thought this was a kid's game. <laughs> Stretch. There we go. Look at that. A one-hit KO from Mr. Stonehead, gaining 93 experience points for everyone. So that's awesome. Um, I will switch out Pokemon back over to Orochimaru. And there we go. That is all she wrote. Orochimaru with some EXP and Stonehead with some EXP. Very good. You're decent. That's kind of a backhanded compliment, isn't it? Dad took me to the great party on SSN in Vermilion City. Very nice. I have a feeling I'm going to be headed that way. I don't know for sure, though. I'm, it's not like I've ever played this game. <laughs> Sarcasm. Alrighty. Slowpoke. Okay, interesting. Um, so we'll go ahead and toss out Deku once more. We have the type advantage, unless he starts using Psychic on me or something. But I think level 17 Slowpoke shouldn't have any psychic moves. Wow, he does have a psychic move. What the heck is going on? That's not fair. <laughs> um, we'll swap out for beer and see if we can't just pound him to death. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like having the, uh, the confusion being used against me, especially when it's super effective. That's scary. So we'll use pound. Ooh, tackle. All right. I've got more speed than him, otherwise I would try to use disable. Nice, landed the sing. Okay, that's good. If I had Mega Punch here, he'd be absolutely wrecked. Well, we all know what happened last episode. Pound. Hey, it woke up so quick. That always happens. I think we're just going to heal up with a potion really quick and keep taking him down with, uh... Was that the only super potion I had? Ugh. Slowpoke use tackle. That's okay, it doesn't do a whole lot for me. Disable. And it missed, of course. Don't crit. Yeah, okay, get out of here. We'll throw out Stonehead. I'm hoping that he doesn't water gun me. Yep, tackle. Perfect. I should have speed on him. And we're gonna use magnitude. That should be enough to kill him. Thank you, Stonehead, for clearing up all that nervousness for me. Much appreciated. Deku with a level up. Very good. Awesome, everything's going according to plan. We're just cruising right through these trainers, gaining some levels along the way. This is going to make our Misty battle way, way more manageable. I'm trying not to gain any more levels on my Venusaur, on Onion. He's not quite a Venusaur yet, but he will be. Uh, I, I just don't want to be too overpowered. I don't, I mean, like, I don't, I want this to be still a challenge. I don't want to overlevel all my guys way too much. Which leads me to my recommendation, or asking for a recommendation. Uh, what do you guys recommend as far as keeping your Pokemon 
uh, slightly under leveled would you say five levels under two levels under uh, what's sufficient in your book because because like I said I don't want to be too overpowered and make all these fights way easier because that kind of defeats the purpose of doing a Nuzlocke right because if you're never worried about them dying it's like there there's not much of a point in doing a Nuzlocke if you're gonna do that uh, so let me know. I'd like to hear what you guys think as far as keeping a level cap on the Pokemon. I might have to implement an actual solidified rule into this playthrough. I think we got just a couple more. Yeah, three more it looks like, and we will go ahead over to Bills. Picnicker Kelsey with the Nidoran male. Very nice. One of the best Pokemon designs in my opinion, the Nidoran male and female series all the way through their evolutions. Such cool Pokemon. Sir Stonehead. Oh, I forgot about Double Kick. I remember this. I'm getting deja vu now. This happened to me when the last time I fought Nito Rans with this guy. Uh, so we're going to go ahead with Magnitude. I'm hoping he doesn't hit more than twice on any of these. Although this gen might be that Double Kick only can hit twice. It is Double Kick for that matter. Magnitude 9! Nice, dude! A powerful one. Very good. You knew exactly how to handle that, buddy. Way to go. Orochimaru up to level 10. I'll swap over to Beer. I think that I'll I'll try to avoid those double kicks, seeing as how I'm down past half health on uh, Sir Stonehead over there. So, let's go ahead with Pound. Okay, nice. I might try to disable her scratch or double kick even better. If I can actually land this disable, that would be perfect. No! No, you crit me! Fudge! Erg! Ugh! I was so... I was so ready to disable that move! <sighs> One of these episodes will go without death. I, I promise you that. Look, I got my hair all messed up. No, beer, why? Why? Ugh. My heart actually hurts from that one, guys. I really like Jigglypuff a lot, just in general. Mm. I wanted to disable that move so badly, I was just going to toss out Stonehead again because they wouldn't have had any moves that would affect me. Mm. I don't even know what to say. Dude. I'm so mad. I did not want that to happen at all. I guess that's what doing a Nuzlocke does to you, though. Man, that was such a random ass critical hit. Why did that happen? Critical hit should be outlawed. Unless they work for me. That's kind of the thing though, right? Like you hate to have it used against you, but you love it when it works for you. But well, we're gonna go ahead and heal our Pokemon up. And as as we're down there, we're gonna have to say goodbye to Jigglypuff. So it's with a heavy heart that I'm starting to run backwards though, I have to say. Nothing like a Nuzlocke death to tear your heart out and throw it on the floor and just stomp all over it. Beer. Ah, I don't want to do it. I can't watch. I can't watch. Alright, I'll see you guys back up at the next trainer battle. We are back and ready to take revenge for Beer on these next couple of Pokemon trainers up here. We've got the Hiker and then a Camper. And we are, I'm pretty sure, on our way over to Bill's house after that, so... Four Pokemon lineup. Ooh, that's a lot. Geodude getting one hit like I expected, though. This absolute butterball. Hiker Knob, what a name. Hiker Knob is about to use Geodude. I will go ahead and change over to Orochimaru just to get him some levels up. So, I'm going to use Mudsport on us. Luckily, that's not going to do anything. <laughs> so, we're going to go ahead and absorb him one more time. He's got one Pokemon after this, I do believe. Almost a level up on both Pokemon there, so we're surely going to get a level up after this one. So, uh, we'll go ahead and hit you with an Absorb. Try to poison powder him, that'll do it. Love to see it. Hurt by poison, following up with an absorb. 
Try to gain some of that HP back. Thank you, Deku. A low kick, not going to do a whole lot to us. And guess what? There's that poison damage again. So I think after this uh, this shot here, we should be good. And absorb, get him close to... Yep, and that poison damage should take him out the rest of the way. I would be surprised if there's another turn here. Perfect. Very good. Machop fainted, and that concludes Camper Knob, or Hiker Knob, or whatever this guy's name is. Nobby McNobstein. And Deku learned Sunspore as well. Okay, very good. One last Poke Trainer encounter here. I'm a cool guy. I've got a girlfriend. Wow, how about that? You're so cool. Camper Flint. You got a cool name, Camper Flint. So let's go ahead and swap in Stonehead for this one. I'll give him a potion when we land. Uh, just to give myself a little bit more confidence here. Uh, but his tackle or hyperfang shouldn't do a whole lot to me. Oh, I hit War Tail Whip. Even better. Buffer you up a little bit here, buddy. I can't lose two in one episode anymore. Throw action. I wonder if we'll be able to land it. Perfect. That should take him all the way out. Oh, yeah. So Rattata's done for. What else have you got? I think he might have like a Neo Ran or something. I don't know. Ekans. All right, all right. Yeah, we'll swap in our Ekans just for a quick little uh, XP boost. And we just reached level 11 on Orochimaru. We are climbing up. I think we started off at like level 7 on this path. Swap on out to Onion. Just to make lives a little bit easier for us, we'll let him finish this one off. And we'll let this lady take us on. My friend has many cute Pokemon. I'm so jealous. Well, guess what? I had a cute Pokemon. Her name was Beer, and now she's dead. So that's what you get for having a cute Pokemon. Man, my only strength against grass is gone. <laughs> I'm so sad. Now, if I still had steel on my team, I would be just flying through this Oddish, but not anymore. Oddish down, alrighty. Orochimaru with some experience, and Onion with some experience. We will swap in Orochimaru one more time here. Last Haley is sending out Pidgey, so we're going to go ahead and let Stonehead have have a chance to just rock throw this Pidgey to death. Stonehead used rock throw, and it missed! Wow, swing bada 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 bada. Oh, that's why, I'm getting sand attacked. Great. <laughs> there we go. Nice little one hit. Orochimaru with a level up? No. I thought so, but no. And an Oddish. Uh, we will switch Pokemon for that. Throw in a Rochimaru for just a moment. I wonder how much my rap will do, actually. I think I might be able to just take him out. Oh, it missed. Okay, one more hit, and we should be in the clear here. Perfect. Nice, a Rochimaru got his first solo. That's perfect. All the EXP towards you, buddy -o. Very good. Player defeated last Haley. That's what I like to see. I'm not so jealous. Yes, you are. Don't lie to me. What the heck is this? You're not a Bill. Because you look like a Clefairy. That's what's left with this skeptical look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll help you out. Whatever. Into the teleporter, and we will run the cell separation. Poke Tim initiated the teleporter separator. There we go. A normal looking guy. Yeehaw! Thanks, buddy. I owe you one. So you come to see my collection? You didn't? That's a bummer. Well, here, maybe this will do. Hey, what do you know? I might be going on down to the SSAM. Join that big old party. The cruise ship is in Vermilion City. Heard there's lots of trainers on board. Perfect. Alrighty. Perfect. So with that being said, we are going to go ahead and make our way back towards Misty. And in next episode, we are going to go ahead and take on the queen of water Pokemon herself. And hopefully, next episode will be the first episode for now two in a row that we will not have any deaths. I'm betting on it. Um, anyways, everyone, 
I really, really appreciate you coming out to check out the episode. If you're still watching at this point, you are the true MVP. So give yourself a pat on the back. This this uh, episode is a long one. If you really enjoy this series and you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button to watch more of this Nuzlocke content every single Sunday. Other than that, everyone, I hope that you have an awesome week.